Hello everyone. Uh, this recording that we're making here um, is from somebody that contacted us from YouTube using the consult.focological.com. It's a free 30-minute uh, consult where I'm either uh, helping you uh, with something, answering a question, looking into your podio, podio and in this case I'm helping uh, this client out with a question they had about form. So they had watched our form uh, video on YouTube and they have a unique situation where their website um, has a small form which when they fill out that small form it then goes to a bigger form and they're wondering how to integrate that with Podio. Uh, well the first problem with that type of situation is that when you have a Podio web form and you hit submit there is no way to have that um, open a new page on your website so you have to use a third-party product um, and in this case um, I suggested using Wufu. So um, Wufu is a um, form building software um, and if you have the pro version of Wufu it enables you to when you hit submit go to a custom URL so when a um, form is submitted um, you then be able to have it go to the second page where there's another form so what I'm going to talk to you about right here is kind of how to set up a Wufu form. Um, there's a link to Wufu, Wufu in the description below, so click on that if you want to dive into their product. But you do have to have a paid plan for this um, forwarding to a URL option. So um, there's a free Wufu plan, but you would have to upgrade. I think it's nine bucks a month or something like that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make a new form. And, and the way that they this client has their form set up, it's very, uh, very simple, is that... Um, see we're just going to name this contact form there's a lot of detailed things that Wufu does um, which we're just not going to go into um, but you can do that now there are okay so in Wufu there's some fancy parts fancy email fancy phone uh, don't use those fields um, because it's hard to have them integrate correctly into Podio so what we're going to do is we're just going to do single line text First name, last name, email address. Actually, let's do this. All right, so now we have a contact form, full name, phone number, email address. So we're going to go ahead and do save form. And what we're going to do. So we're going to go, I'm finished, take me back to the form manager. So here's our contact form, and then we have this share link here. So when we hit the share link, um, we can either do a permanent link, um, or we can embed it on our site. So here's the embed code. Um, so I can go ahead and just embed that right onto my site, and now I just have a simple three-step um, process where... Um, they put in their full name, their email address, their phone number, and then they hit submit. Um, and then in the advanced options, which I don't have access to because I have a free Wufu account, but in the advanced options, you can have it go to a URL, and that URL would be a second page. Now on that second page, um, you can either do another Wufu form, or um, in the case of this client, they can really just do a, a Podio form and because they don't need it to go to another page after that. So um, they can just build out the app in Podio uh, with all the fields that they need. Um, and they're ready to go. Now, it, just like a business note here, it's kind of smart what um, this client is doing um, because when you have a small form, um, well, let's take that a step back. When people see a big form on a website, they kind of get overwhelmed. Uh, there's a lot of information going on there um, and they might start to think that I don't maybe want to give all this information to this this person so by doing a small form they put in their information they hit submit and when they get to the second stage they might then decide that they don't want to fill out that form but you now have their contact information so if you don't get a longer form from this person um, within the space of 30 minutes then you know that they probably either got distracted or decided not to fill out your long form but you still have contact information to contact them with so now what I'm going to do though is walk you through how to take a Wufu form and put it into Podio and we're going to use It Does It for that. Um, it Does It is a cloud integration software which basically means it takes a cloud application like Wufu um, and then puts it into Podio. Um, and that's what we're going to set up here. There's a link to It Does It in the description below so if you want to find out more about them. They have a free plan um, which is 20 transactions per month um, and it doesn't cost anything and then their upgraded plan is 
very affordable. It's $9.99 a month as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do create a new integration. And we're going to do select cloud to cloud. And we're going to name this small wufu to podio. Actually, I forgot a step. We need to make the exact duplicate of that contact form in podio. So we're going to create app. Oh. Take us to the app builder. And we'll do full name. Email address. Phone number. Alright, so now we have the exact duplicate of that form inside of Podio, because basically we're just going to use it does it to take the fields that are in Wufu and push them into Podio. So let's go ahead and set that up right now. So it does it. Small Wufu to Podio. So when a Wufu form is submitted, um, since I already have Wufu synced up, um, that's what shows there. Or you can do choose another application if you don't have Wufu set up, and you'll be able to set up Wufu there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to choose our contact form. And then we're going to do save. And then, all right, so now we're going to say, um, and then you could put a filter in too if you wanted to. Um, is the full name valid or something like that? Um, don't really need to do a filter in this kind of situation, but that is possible. So then we're going to cho basically choose what to happen, and that's going to be and do this in my connected app. So we're going to go with Podio. So we're going to do add a new item. And then I get to choose my Podio workspace. I have a lot. So let me find the right one. Gosh, I can't remember what it's called now. Hang on. Demo, CRM and project management. There we go. And then Podio app ID. We're going to have it go to small contact form. And then we can just use applications fine basically that means is who added the item so it will show you that it does it added the item um, alright so let's do add item fields so full name and then over here are the source fields from it does it so we're going to do full name we're going to do email address and we're going to do phone number We're going to do save. Now, um, one thing I do want you to notice is right over here, um, you have the ability to bring in more information that's not shown on the front end of Wufu, such as what form it came from, what date was it created, who was it created by, what was their IP address, and then the complete submission. So just keep that in mind that there are other options there and, and fields you could add into Podio to just give you some more information about where this information is coming from and when it was submitted. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go to the dashboard because now it's all um, ready to go. And we're going to do small Wufu to Podio and we're going to turn that on. So now let's go back to Podio and let's go, sorry, to Wufu. <laughs> And let's use this link and open up this form. So here's a very basic form, and like I said, you can customize this quite a lot. Wufu is a pretty powerful form builder. It's kind of like Gravity Forms for WordPress. Um, but let's go ahead and start doing this information. Alright, so that form was filled out. So now we're just going to give it a little bit and see what happens. Alright, so I just got a notification that the form came in. So now we're going to go and um, refresh the app. And there we go. There's the form in Podio. So I was able to use a more advanced form program uh, to bring that form 
through um, it does it and then into Podio so now that I can do everything I want from there you can take that a step further and, and really do some cool stuff with Globiflow um, talked about this in, in another tutorial that I'll link below um, where we really kind of go into what are some of the advanced features of doing forms with um, Globiflow. But I'm going to talk about it real quick. What I really like to do with my forms um, is send them to what I call like an ops app or a standalone app. Here's my CRM over here on the left, um, but over here on the right is where the form comes in. I don't have them directly go into each other. Um, the reason is for that because when this comes into this app, I then use Globiflow with the permissions that basically say when this is created, um, push this information over. And, and why I do that is for this simple reason. When a form comes in to my CRM, I would put that in a lead status. If I was sending that directly to my CRM app with inside of Podio, I would never be able to set that status um, to have certain settings um, like um, lead, basically, or prospect, or whatever you want to call it. Now, with it does it, you can um, say within this integration and send it to a specific place and, and set certain fields. Um, but I use Globiflow so much, especially with its notifications ability to set custom tasks with custom notes in it um, and bring over comments and anything like that. Um, it's where I do most of my automations within Podio. So that's how I would set it up. I would send it to this application here. Um, and then using Globiflow, once an item is created within this application, I would push it over um, to the CRM. So that kind of covers that process there. I hope that's been insightful. Um, please let me know if you have questions. And um, if, uh, like this client did, had a great question about their system um, and you want some free help, please reach out to me, consult.focalogical.com. Thanks again. That is it for this tutorial. Uh, as always, we like your feedback, so please go to feedback.focalogical.com. Let us know what you thought. Um, we do, of course, do a free 30-minute uh, consultation for anybody uh, that has Podio questions and just kind of wants to work through anything. Hi, you don't have to become a client with us or anything like that. We just love helping you out and meeting you and um, hearing how you're using Podio or want to use Podio. So uh, to sign up for that, go to consult.focalogical.com and fill out that Podio web form right there. And um, if you have any um, Podio video tutorials that you'd like to see on YouTube, uh, let us know what those are at videos.focalogical.com. Um, and finally, we are building some Podio uh, solutions that are kind of pre-made. Uh, Podio, Globiflow, and other automations already kind of built into one package uh, that we would just install up for you and provide support um, for just a fixed fee price. So if you're interested in those, go to podiosolution.focalogical.com. Have a good one.